Welcome back to Sports Sunday. The Perth Wildcats winning game one of the best of five NBL Grand Final Series with a strong 87-71 win over Melbourne United in Perth on Friday night. Now, Melbourne get their chance to make the most of that home court advantage this afternoon when game two tips off live on Nine Go. And here to break down all today's action, great to have the uh, former NBL MVP, Harlem Globe Trotter, and, of course, now commentator for the basketball as well, Corey Homicide. Williams, Corey, great to have you on the show. We're counting down to this one uh, later today. Uh, Melbourne, you think a bit dirty on themselves after uh, such a poor second-half showing? Well, first of all, thanks for having me. But before we get into that, I need to know how is this gentleman... On TV with a red do rag. <laughs> How is that possible? Uh, Thank you. I happen to be. Let me answer. That is incredible. I happen to be. I'll be treated with a bit of respect here. I'm a basketballer. I play with the lizards every Wednesday night. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So there. I always get fouled off, and every foul counts. Oh man, man. A, gr a great sledge uh, from the man himself. I thought you were going to have a go at my uh, my camel jacket today, but I'm glad you, I'm glad you went him instead. Uh, the match today, uh, Melbourne chasing a bit of revenge, hoping to level things up, Corey. Yeah, definitely. You know, I'm sure they were upset with their performance in the second half. The first half of game one, they came up, they were up four at half, and then it was a 31 to 14 quarter by the Perth Wildcats. And, you know, they hit shots. They played great defense. They shut down Casper Ware, Chris Golden. Everybody else did not step up. There was a lot of turnovers. Put it like this, in the second half, the Perth Wildcats control the whole tempo, and they deserve to win game one. Now, what you do for game two, you adjust. Melbourne United will be ready to play. Perth Wildcats are looking to do the unthinkable. Win on the road. They have not been able to win on the road versus Melbourne United. But, you know, we'll see how we go today. But I believe Melbourne United will get the victory today. Corey, um, it was that first game, low scoring game, 81-71. Do you see something similar again today? Oh, definitely. These are the top two teams defensively going at each other. You know, they know the scouting report is there. So they both know what each other wants to do best, and they take away. They take that away. That's why they're one and two defensively in the league. So it's not going to be a high-scoring game. It's going gonna, it's gonna to come down to executing tactics. That's what it's going to come down to. Corey, no doubt that Andrew Bogut has had a great year with the Sydney Kings, although they didn't play super well, but I think he's had a great season with them. He's off to the Golden State Warriors. How do you think he'll go with his match fitness? It is a little bit hard to step back down to a lower league and then back up to a higher <clears> league. How do you think he'll go? First of all, this is one of the best leagues in the world outside yes. of the NBA. Outside of the NBA. The Bogut effect is what we saw this season. He led the league in assists. He led, the, he led the league in rebounds. I'm sorry. He led the league in blocks. He showed that he was in shape. He's trimmer, he's slimmer, and he's in shape. He's going back to that Golden State Warriors extremely confident because he played all 28 games. Despite of what happened in the finals, he will be an asset and a legitimate backup for the Golden State Warriors this year. Corey, if Perth are to win, will they be the most dominant team in NBL's history? Yeah, they will. And, you know, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm totally against Perth, if you don't know <laughs> if you didn't hear. But I just thought that they, were, they needed one more import. Like, every other team has three imports. They have two. And what they're showing right now is that, you know, right at the moment, that was the right move to do. Just go with only two imports. So far, they're up one zip. You know, I think this is going five games. But if they do win, they for sure have shown that dominance over the NBL. It'll be their ninth championship. Corey, great to catch up. Really looking forward to uh, game two of the NBL, NBL final series <coughs> later today. Between Melbourne and Perth in Melbourne. And, of course, you can catch it on nine go. We will catch you then. Thank you. Have a good one. Hag with the silk shirt, was too. Nice. Very nice silk. shirt. I was about to say, nice shirt. <laughs> he doesn't like shirt. my do-rag, but I like his shirt. <laughs> I do loved it. Do-rag. Do -rag. Do -rag. Do -rag. <laughs> I'm never sure how to say it. <laughs> oh, dear idea. I thought he was going to ride the first one in Randwick or something. <laughs> <laughs> so true. <laughs> this afternoon. So Melbourne Arena, seen for the...